Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Christmas special for Confessions of a Catholic Single. Hello. What started as a group text joking about what the characters would be doing on Christmas has turned into this, a Christmas episode for all of you fans out there. Um, so you can um, like and comment and share, especially while the episode is going, so all of your friends know that they too can watch the special. Um, we're going to start off just with some introductions so you can see behind the curtain, the faces behind the voices. Um, so we'll let the actors introduce themselves. Hi, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Katie Bodenhammer, and I play Miss Cecilia. Hi, I'm Damian Stevens, and I play Dimitri. Hi, everybody. I'm Charlemagne Raffles. I'm a Buhai from the Philippines, and I play Father Paul. Hey, guys. I'm Kristen Jazak, and I play Agnes. Hi there, I'm Lisa Burnham and I play Florence. Thanks for tuning okay. in. <laughs> yes, yeah, so thank you all. And um, so we will just get started with this episode. It will be um, posted after the fact on other different streaming platforms, um, other social media rather. So if you want to like and share there as well, if you're listening to this after the fact, it's also going to be posted on all of our podcast channels. So um, we are live. So obviously there's no editing. There's no shining off of the audio so we thank you in advance for your grace as you listen to us do this live and um the sound effects are coming from my phone so again thanks for <laughs> knowing that this is a little bit different if you're listening to it on the podcast it's not the polished versions like the rest of the episodes speaking of all of the other episodes if this is the first time you've joined us you should go back and listen to all seven episodes of the season so you know what's going on um but without further ado, we will start, if I can get my cursor in the right spot, <laughs> with Confessions of a Catholic Single. Bless me, Father Paul, for I have sinned. It's been two weeks since my last confession. Yeah, I missed you last week. I'm not, not that I knew that you didn't come until you just said. Uh, I, I don't keep track of who comes or not. The seal of confession is intact. You were saying? Well, the worst thing I did last week was listen to Christmas music while I was still at bed. But I'm paying attention to the liturgical calendar. I wore purple. Ah, uh, well, I did forget to wear pink on Gadate Sunday. It's rose, not pink. But definitely not sins. I know, that's why I didn't come last week. So why bring it up now? You did. Oh, I left out that I used birthday wrapping paper since I didn't have any Christmas wrapping paper. I need to give you a manual on what constitutes a sin. You mean the catechism? Oh, so you know what it is. Anyway, it's baby Jesus' birthday, so the wrapping paper counts. Okay, on to the real sins. I re-gifted a present. It's not bad. Maybe a little rude to the person who gave it to you? Yeah, but why I really came? I may have hurt someone with my Christmas wish. Cecilia, you're killing me over here. What? This one is a sin. Video, oh. maybe, oh. not. No. Wishing isn't sinning. Well, I wish you would just listen to the story. Confessions of a Catholic. Agnes, I smell gingerbread. Come on in, I guess. Oh, oh. This cookie is almost as good as my mom's baklava. Uh, don't tell my mom. That's some high praise and some attachment issues. I can't believe you made these. Was high praise. Fine. No, I bought them. I finally broke down and had to do something to make this place Christmassy. It's Christmas Eve Eve. It's uh, kind of drab in here. My place has more Christmas spirit, and I'm a dude. I know. I think Christmas is hard for Cecilia. It's only her second one without Frank. I figured I'd try to surprise her and make it look like a winter wonderland. And now with your help, maybe we can have it done before she gets home. My help? You ate the gingerbread cookie. That's a contractual agreement to decorate. Those are the holiday rules. Here, start with the bells. 
that popcorn isn't for eating. It's for stringing garland. Whoa, so many boxes. Are you putting all this up? What part of winter wonderland aren't you getting? It all goes up. Oh, oh. Looks like this wreath is broken. It, it's more like a snake wreath. A snake wreath? That's garland for the mantle. Is everything garland? What about these hooks? Snakes could hang from them. Or snake garland. Those are hooks for the stockings. There are no snakes. What happens at Greek Christmas? At least tell me you have the snake for the nativity. Cecilia, you're back already? What the dickens is going on here? She started it. I'm just here under some gingerbread contract, which is so delicious. Agnes? You wanted to... Is that my stocking? No, your stocking has Cabbage Patch Kids on it. <laughs> Maybe when I was a kid. No, when I was a kid, which meant you were like 18 in college. Oh, fiddle faddle. You can't even remember that far back, can you? Anyway, aren't these pants for a Santa decoration? No, it's... Oh, it's a joint stocking. Your name's on one side and... It, wait, we can stop. There's a clause in the gingerbread contract. If you don't want decorations... No, I, I do. Uh, you could wait until the Greek Christmas, January 7th. Epiphany? I don't know. That's when my parents celebrate it. They said it's our heritage, but I just think they wanted to save money and get all our presents on sale. <gasps> oh, wait, I know this. It's when the three kings arrived and gave Jesus presents. <laughs> no, I think that's the day the Greek baby Jesus was born. <laughs> Greek baby Jesus? All right, there's a reason I haven't put anything out. Frank loved history, was always learning random tidbits. His favorite was the tradition of the Lord of Misrule. Misrule? I'm listening. Don't get excited. It's not snakes. It's not snakes. Is it Celia? What? No. Why, why would it be snakes? Okay. In medieval times, a jester would become mayor of the city for Christmas season. He'd get to suggest all sorts of funny things that everyone would have to do. So the time between Thanksgiving and Christmas every year, Frank would just make a game out of everything. Yes! Your cards were epic! Exactly! Cards, decorating, cookie making, <laughs> caroling, remember? You name it. And last year, um, I, I didn't know what I would do without the Lord of Misrule. If I might be so bold, this condo is your kingdom, your court. And if anyone is the jester... <laughs> <laughs> you really think you're up for being the Lord of Misrule? Do I get a crown? Keep digging in the box. Even better. A, a, a Christmas colored jester hat, may I? Sure. Oh, it fits. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a great Lord of Misdemeanor. <laughs> Misrule. But yet, I think if anyone is equal to the task, it is Dimitri. I will not let you down, my lady. Uh, I mean, uh, misruling is a gift. I won't let you down. Okie dokie, artichokey. I'm going to bed. Before you count sugar plums or anachokes, I was hoping to throw a fancy adult party for Christmas Eve. That's tomorrow. It'll be small. Elegant, fine food on China, champagne and floats, sleep decor. I'm talking classy, sophisticated conversations, culture and music, people dressed to impress. The perfect place for the Lord to misrepresent. Misrule. Miss Miss the party sounds like a lot, Agnes. I'm dedicating my life to this. It's in less than 24 hours. My life. Don't reindeer on my Christmas parade. I'm going to adult like I've never adulted before. Well, I have the last event of my season for the casino tomorrow. It's the 12th day of Christmas. I mean, it's not really liturgically, of course. Christmas is the first day of Christmas, but the higher-ups overruled me. But I have no energy to plan something else. You won't have to. I'll take care of everything. You just need to show up and be your best elf. The Lord of Misrule decrees? So this party is Salby Show. I regret this immediately. Ah! 
You've been Lord of Misrule. Oh, gosh, Dimitri, that is not how this works. You don't scare people. You spread fun wherever you go. I have peppermint hot cocoa for you on your way to work. Oh, oh, okay, that's more like it. But you have to sing a Christmas song to get it. I'm late, Dimitri. This cocoa has whipped cream and shavings of candy cane on top. <laughs> Cooking with soda sauce on the feast of Stephen When the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even Then the ammonia just seemed so bright And it got real cold and everyone came inside Yeah <laughs> I hope there's a weird tradition for every holiday Here's your cocoa Good luck at your big event You'll do great Immerse those people good And people say I talk funny What? You said it's an immersive 3D uh, experience bringing into people into the 12 days of Christmas with hidden nuggets of theology that you would hope uh, your boss wouldn't get you in trouble for it. Wow, that's verbatim what I said. I've never been this excited about a Greek Christmas. The 99 cent jester hat will do that. Now go and hum Carol of the Bells all the way to work. You wouldn't know if I did or if I didn't. The Lord of Misrule is always listening. See you tonight. <laughs> Merriest of Christmases to you! Wow, this is a lot. Ooh, uh, Charlemagne, we can't hear you. It's a lot of people at this party. <laughs> Thank you for the Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Father Paul, were you going to say something? Yes, um, I was. Okay. The merriest of Christmases to you, Cecilia. Oh. I was just getting ready, you know. <laughs> the yes. Lord of Misrule has us prepare so we can say it properly. He requires that of everyone. Oh, Paul, don't you have Midnight Mass to prepare for? Plenty of time. And plenty of people in my condo. Cecilia, you made it! <sighs> yep, I made it home to a party in my condo. Wow. You had rusting Grinch face? Uh, this shindig is big and loud and kitschy. The exact opposite of small and elegant. Where's all the adulting that you talked about? Turns out, people like being kids instead of adults. I asked them to dress up, and they all showed up in ugly sweaters. And no fine dining? We have Santa witches, a cheese bread called Cheeses is the Reason for the Season, and a dip platter gawking around the Christmas tree. What the food lacks in refinement, it makes up for in clever wordplay. Maybe some borderline blasphemy on the cheese name. But I thought it was going to be small and sophisticated. A lot of people from work had nowhere to go tonight, and so word spread. Basically turned into a singles mixer. Single bell, single bell, single all the way. You're doing your part to fix that with a copious amount of mistletoe you hung. Oh, yikes. Yikes. No, Paul, you and I are dangerously close to being under one together. Uh, I'm not under it. You are. With Ralph. Really? I am sorry that this priest so rudely shoved you, Ralph. Please, enjoy the party. Oh, oh! apparently, apparently you can make a paper ornament over there in that corner with, wow, glitter. That, that's a lot of glitter. Load of misrule struck again. Mm. Excuse me, Ralph. Uh, Florence, what you drinking? Tiny Tim Collins. That's the specialty drink Tanner made for yesterday's event. Yeah, he's slinging uh, cocktails in the kitchen. Bus man's holiday, huh? Oh, wow. Look, and his wife Kay's here. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't tell her about our non-date faux pas, right? Uh, I think I'll have him mix me a Scrooge driver. <sighs> what is wrong with Father Paul? In general? He's awkwardly inching over here. W would you call that inching? N maybe slinking? Creeping? That poor guy he's talking to is so confused. Here he comes, step by awkward step, all the way over to us. Paul? 
Do you know Andrew? Uh, I don't, but I'm familiar with his Christmas novena. And do you know what you're standing under? I, 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 that's the mantle of Mother Mary. Okay. You got me there. For next no mistletoe. Time. Goodbye. The merriest of Christmases to to you. God bless us, everyone. Ah, there he is. You're here. I got reinforcements. Karaoke. Wow, this keeps getting farther and farther away from elegant. I'm not in charge of elegance. I'm here for fun. And you're finally off the clock. Well, just for a little while. I have to get back to the casino later. There's a shuttle taking people from there to midnight mass. Right. You're not so covert up to infiltrate the holiday with faith. Right. I mean, how dare I bring religion into our Savior's birth? I respect your mission to bring people into the faith. You got Lara. She's going to the Mass. Oh, is she? So, so your mom, she doesn't have any problem with your girlfriend converting. Mom can't really say much since she's the one that set us up. Ah. You still have uh, time to have fun. Uh, as the Lord of Misrule, I decree you need a drink. Mm -hmm. Tanner, get this lady a prancer punch. Please. Everyone, don't forget to snap that Christmas selfie with Santa now that he's back. Or if you want a professional, Flora's here. You got a Santa? Flora's got the suit, and I didn't have best twice to get. No, did you really need to invite Laura? Tanner, I'll have a bah humbug highball. Cecilia, this is our... Oh. Oh. Hi, Oliver the Brit. Mm, we've met. Brother Paul, you can stop trying, please. Florence, I am in the Dickens nightmare, the ghost of bad dates past. Why don't you go take a picture with Santa and make a Christmas wish before you go back to work? Mm, you know what? I think I will. If Agnes paid someone to play Santa, I might as well, because she'll probably gonna ask me to borrow some money to, from me to pay this guy, whoever he is, for anyhow tomorrow. Hey, oh. come on, please. He jumped at the chance to get in that suit. You know, the the, the... wow. I'll I'll take a mistletoe mule. Keep them coming. Paul and Agnes got to you with all this mistletoe. Ah, uh, yeah, it seems so. Okay, I'm off to the North Pole, known as my Davenport. Hmm. Also known as a couch in this century. <sighs> yeah, fine. Some rando in his sand suit sitting on my couch. <clears throat> Hello, Santa, whoever you are. Ho, ho, ho! Ah, oh, whoa, camera. I, I wasn't ready in... I didn't even make my Christmas wish yet. And what is it would you like, young lady? Wait, if I say it out loud, it won't come true. That's only birthday wishes. Ugh, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. This wish is a pipe dream. Have some faith in old Saint Nick. Well, Father Paul's been trying to lure me under mistletoe with all these guys. But there's really only one that I want. And that can't happen, so I'll just drown my sorrow in my mistletoe mule. It's a little known secret that Chris's magic is unlocked. When you whisper your secret wish into Santa's little ear. Now who's the guy? <sighs> Fine. I'll play along. <clears throat> it's my neighbor, Dimitri. Oh, camera, Lord, 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 Laura. Oh, oh. Ho, ho! Oh, uh, come back! Oh. Cecilia! Cecilia, what's wrong? No, we need to go. The shuttles aren't leaving for another hour. Paul hasn't even left yet. He's gonna go straight to the church. What about Lara? I mean, isn't she becoming Catholic? I, I don't think she's gonna want to become Catholic with me and come with me. So I'll let, I'm leaving. Wait! You're leaving already? Don't be a Rudolph! Tell Dimitri I said goodbye. I don't know where he went. You were just talking to him. He's Santa, baby. Oh, fudge. The mass is ended. Go in peace. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Father. Father Paul.
<sighs> oh, uh, wow. Hi, uh, Dimitri. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm surprised to see you. <laughs> did you, did you, uh, did you, did you come with Laura? <laughs> no, <laughs> she and I, uh, we broke up. Oh, I am sorry. This it's my fault. I'll talk to her. I'll we'll make it better. No, it's it's not your fault. It is. She heard me say that. She she didn't. You're a good whisperer. I actually wasn't sure if I heard you correctly, but then I realized how much I hoped that I did, and that it wouldn't be right to stay with Lara if I felt like I do. <sighs> that is some Santa magic. I uh, I brought you something. I thought we weren't doing Christmas presents until Three Kings Day. That's a good money-saving tip. Oh, we're for sure still doing that. But my final act is Lord of Misrule for the year. I thought you should wear a festive headband. Here you go. Ah, okay. A headband with mistletoe on it, huh? Will you help me put it on? <laughs> Oh, I'm not giving up this jester hat yet. <laughs> I got to keep the misrule until the Greek Christmas. W-W-G-B-J-D? Uh-huh. What would Greek baby Jesus do? <sighs> what? How's this the first I'm hearing about you, Dimitri? You've been slammed being a priest at one of the busiest times of the year. So? Okay. Wait well. a second. You regifted? Those socks you gave me are from a vendor at work, aren't they? That's why they have that weird brand name. You always complain about how your feet are cold. You're welcome. <coughs> Look, my mom gave you that for your birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the book. And you keep asking to borrow it. Now, you don't have to return it to me. It's yours. You're welcome again. For your penance, pray for the intercession of St. Nicholas to help you be a better gift giver. And he's like the Greek's main saint, so you can also ask him to pray for you and your new boyfriend. Ha, clever. By the way, just wanted to point out that I didn't even bring up the fact that you didn't even give me a present. It's written in the card. If I'm offering mass for your intentions. Oh, that's a good one. And impossible to re-gift. So you don't have to worry. Okay, see you next year. You know, tomorrow. <laughs> I get it. You make that joke every year since you were 14. So I'm adding to your penance. Pray mm -hmm. for the intercession of St. Lawrence, the patron saint of comedians. The merriest of Christmases to you. The Lord of Misrule is still in charge, so I have to keep saying that. Merry of Christmases, old friend. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and and scene. <laughs> Live without a net. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we hope that you guys enjoyed the Christmas episode and like and share it and spread Christmas cheer all around with this episode because the Lord of Misrule decrees that you should like and share it. So it has to be so. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us. And um, maybe there'll be a New Year's miracle too. We'll see what happens. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>